Hello dear students, let us solve some more multiple choice questions based on rotational dynamics. First question is, if the rotational kinetic energy of a body is A and moment of inertia is I, then angular momentum will be. We know rotational kinetic energy is given by half I omega square which may be written as half I omega square into I upon I. So, it becomes I square omega square upon 2 I I square omega square upon 2 I and we know I omega is angular momentum L. So, it is L square upon 2 I. It gives angular momentum L as under root 2 E I. So, the correct option will be B. Then number 2, a disk of moment of inertia I is rotating about its axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane. If a small wax of mass m is dropped at distance r from the axis, then new moment of inertia will be. This is rotating circular disk this is circular disk rotating about perpendicular axis passing from its center. Initially angular momentum is I 1 omega 1 and after dropping wax of mass m at distance r new moment of inertia becomes I 2 is equal to I 1 plus m r square. So, the correct option will be C. Next question number 3. The moment of inertia of a body of mass m about a given axis is I. Then the radius of gyration will be. So, solution to question 3. We know I is equal to m k square moment of inertia is equal to mass into square of radius of gyration. So, radius of gyration k will be equal to under root i upon m. So, the correct option will be c. Next question number 4. The question is torque that changes angular momentum of a body about an axis from L naught to 4 L naught in 3 seconds will be solution to question 4. We know torque is rate of change of angular momentum. So, it will be final angular momentum 4 L naught minus initial angular momentum L naught upon time taken is 3 second. So, it is 3 L naught upon 3 means L naught. So, the correct option will be C. Next question number 5 quantity in rotational motion which is analogous to force in linear motion is we know the quantity in rotational motion that is analogous to force in linear motion is torque. So, the correct option will be B. Next question number 6. When the torque acting on the system is 0, then the constant physical quantity is. Solution to question 6. Torque is defined as the rate of change of angular momentum. So, when torque is 0, then D, L upon d t will be 0 that means L is constant. So, the angular momentum L will be constant. So, the correct option will be A. Next question number 7. The 
spokes are used in bicycle wheel to these are the options we know in bicycle wheel metal spokes are used these are metal spokes these spokes are used to increase the moment of inertia such that the maximum mass lies at largest distance from the axis and so the moment of inertia is maximum so the correct option will be to increase moment of inertia so option will be d next question number 8 the question is the physical quantity that imparts angular acceleration in rotational motion is these are the options so solution to question 8 we know torque is equal to i into alpha where o is moment of inertia and alpha is angular acceleration therefore alpha will be equal to torque upon i so the torque imparts angular acceleration in rotational motion so the correct option will be d next question number 9 if l represents angular momentum and i represents moment of inertia then l square upon 2i will represent solution to question 9 as rotational ke e is equal to half i omega square which may be written as half i upon i into i omega square which becomes i omega whole square upon 2i which is l square upon 2i so the physical quantity l square upon 2i is rotational kinetic energy so the correct option will be c next question number 10 moment of inertia of solid sphere is as we know moment of inertia of solid sphere is 2 by 5 mr square so the correct option will be b mr square is the moment of inertia of ring 2 by 3 mr square is moment of inertia of hollow sphere and mr square by 2 is the moment of inertia of circular disc the question is mass of flywheel is concentrated near its rim so these are the options when the mass of flywheel is concentrated near the rim then sigma mr square becomes large hence the moment of inertia becomes large so the correct option will be b to increase moment of inertia next question number 12 the question is a ring a solid sphere a hollow sphere and a circular disc roll down an inclined plane from rest which one will reach the bottom of inclined plane first suppose this is inclined plane having angle of inclination theta and this is the body of mass m and radius r acceleration of a body of circular symmetry rolling down an inclined plane is given by a is equal to g sin theta upon 1 plus k square upon r square suppose this is equation 1 for solid sphere i is equal to 2 by 5 m r square is equal to m k square which gives k square upon r square is equal to 2 by 5 similarly 
for hollow sphere k square upon r square will be 2 by 3 because i is 2 by 3 mr square per ring k square upon r square will be 1 per disk k square upon r square will be 1 by 2 okay. this is 0.4 this is 0.6 7 this is 1 this is 0.5 from value so from equation 1 denominator of equation 1 will be minimum and a will be maximum thus the solid sphere will have maximum acceleration and hence solid sphere will reach the bottom first